Hi there. I just got back from an estate sale and I um, found something I've never seen before. And it is a um, swivel, yarn swivel holder for um, basically yarn. Sorry about the um, noise out there. I've got the, one of those window things now and the birds are out there trying to get um, see. Anyway, this is what I got. I bought this. It was uh, $6 and then I got it for, um, it was 25% off, so I paid $4.50 for this. And basically what it is, is you take your yarn or your thread or whatever you're uh, crocheting or uh, uh, knitting with and you put it on your swivel so as you're actually sitting here crocheting this just turns and your thread comes off easily and you don't have to worry about it twisting or turning especially when you're dealing with um, like your crochet thread you know how you always have to turn your crochet thread around um, the nice thing about this is you would think that it would be nice if you could just put your crochet thread on the spool and let it sit there as it spins and you can keep your thread on your uh, cardboard. So I was going to have my husband, um, let me tell you how this is put together. Um, I was going to have my husband make me some more of these um, spools and I thought okay if I thread one with yarn or crochet thread I can just put another spool on. And because what this is, is just a dowel, and on the bottom of the dowel, they've curved off the bottom a little bit, and then drilled holes, put the dowel through, and um, they took a, a, I would say, probably an inch and a half screw, and screwed the bottom base onto the dowel. And then they uh, screwed in a, um, on both ends, and then they screwed in a cup holder hook. Um, and this right here is a um, fishing swivel. So they just use the, the swivel and then um, put it in with one of those um, U-shaped nails to hang the swivel up here. So what swiveling is actually the swivel up here. You can even use jewelry swivels. You don't even have to use a fishing swivel. But um, I'm, I, I thought when I got this home, I thought, well, you know, that's a good idea. But why do you have to have such an elaborate get up? So I went and this is a banana holder. So you got a banana holder here. And here you've got um, an ornament holder. And I thought, what's the difference between using that and using one of these? Since you you know, most people already have an ornament holder or a banana holder at home that they can, or you can get it, you can get these at the thrift stores for like 50 cents to a dollar. Sometimes if you go to some estate sales, you can get them for, you know, um, 25 cents or 50 cents, whatever you, you, you know, you're looking for. And then I thought, why can't I just rig my own swivel? So I went to my fishing gear, and I've got these surf leaders. And when you get by these surf leaders, I don't know, they're not very expensive. You can get them for a couple dollars. They come in different sizes. And basically what they are is they have a swivel on them. And they also have a claw. The claw is what um, you can open up the claw and attach things to that claw. That's how you add on your additional hook lines or your weights or whatever. This is what fishermen use. Um, they're even um, you can even get swivels in the jewelry section. They have lobster claw swivels, and they also got the attachments too. But this is a fishing lure. This is a surf leader's 15 pound test, but. Like I said, they come in different sizes depending on what size fish you're going for. So I thought, why, why go through all this elaborate setup when you can just use something like this? So I took um, a um, sharp object or thing and I put two holes in this DMC and I hooked up, up with this piece of string, I hooked up um, this swivel hook and I thought, why can't I just do it like this and hook this swivel hook right on to the um, banana holder or ornament holder and, and do it like this. You can do this for like a dollar. You know, you can get this whole rig at home for a dollar and I spent four fifty for this. But what's going to happen is as I'm crocheting, let me, I already opened this up, let me get some of this thread off so we can get down to the regular, um, regular thread. And you can see how easy it's going to come off without twisting. So here, 
here we go. So if I'm just sitting here crocheting, this is just swiveling as my thread's coming off and I don't have to keep turning. I don't have to keep turning my um, thread. Simple. Okay, but this is only works, this only works for um, if you have the cardboard in the crochet thread. If you don't have that um, cardboard already in the crochet thread, you're going to have to rig up something else to um, work. So what I did is I got a piece of my, um, this, this is stuff you can use at home. You can use even a paper clip if you don't have that um, claw hook at the end of your swivel. You can use like a paper clip. Well, you still need the swivel. But if you only have the swivel and not the claw, you can use a paper, paper clip and just clip your paper clip to your swivel and let your paper clip uh, turn around. But what I was thinking is you can take this and rig something up and some of these um, crochet thread rolls don't have a um, piece of cardboard in to make holes in so you can just stuff something that's pliable like this and put it in there and then um, center it in the middle of your hole and then hang that on your um, and your um, thread will swirl for you without being um, caught on anything. But if you are going to use regular yarn for this, this had regular yarn on it. I had to unwind it, which was really easy. I just round it into a ball. But you do, you can, um, one thing about having it on a wooden um, dowel like this is when you go to um, load up your swivel, I mean load up this uh, spool, you can just uh, get it on your spool real simple just by spinning it around. So there's advantages to both, um, both options. But simple stuff, you know, and it's so easy just to sit here and crochet and not have to worry about having your threads get all jammed up all the time. But that was my adventures in estate sales today. I bought these. These are pretty. These are size 5. They were $2 and it was uh, only 25% off at this place. So I got these. I got two of them. I got this pretty pink one, the hot pink. And I got the um, apple green for $1. Uh, 50 a piece, which is pretty good. This is size uh, 5, which is a little bit smaller than the size uh, 3, but not too much. You can almost hardly even tell the difference, but that's going to make a real pretty um, hat like that, too. So, But um, this is, I started a white one thinking I could use any kind of flower I want on the, um, on the um, white one without being pink. But that's basically the beginning of it. I haven't done the outside edges yet, but that would be, um, that's cute too. Two-toned, do white and pink, make your base, and then you just use that, and then you can make whatever color you want on top. Cute, cute ideas. Okay, but that's basically how that works, so... This might move around a little bit. Maybe I could use something. I was thinking what else you could use to center that. And I thought maybe a plastic cup. You could put a plastic cup in with a hole and put that in to hold it. If that didn't work, then maybe you could use a, um, I don't know, some um, piece of wood like this and run your string across the piece of wood on the top. I thought I had one in here. I guess I don't have it piece of wood in one of these. Oh, I must have lost it. But you get the idea. But banana holder, uh, you're, if you don't fish and your husband does, he's probably got swivel hooks in the garage right now. And um, you probably have a banana holder. So you're all set to go. You don't have to buy anything. You have probably everything at home right now. But um, how simple is that? You just sit here and crochet and not even worry about your thread. But you're gonna have to have a, you're gonna have to have a spool or something for um, yarn. But um, neat stuff. I was surprised. I had never seen anything like it. So, all right. Have a good one. Bye.